Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. We are back today to talk about an old favorite of the channel, Trisha Paytas. It has been a long time since we've talked about her on the channel and that's just because for the most part, Trisha has been able to stay out of drama since becoming a mother. That is a sentence that I honestly never thought I would say. Trisha Paytas uploaded a new episode of her podcast, Just Trish, yesterday and touched on quite a few Vlog Squad members. As you guys may know, ex-Vlog Squad members Zayn Hijazi and Heath Hussar, who have a podcast called Zayn and Heath Unfiltered, have started a joint podcast with Remy Cruz and Alicia Marie, who have a podcast called Pretty Basic. And this new podcast is called Pretty X Unfiltered. They came out with a bunch of promo videos to promote this new podcast and the first episode is out as of today and was received quite positively on YouTube. But as we know, people on Reddit are much harsher critics and they were not so positive. On one episode of the Zayn and Heath Unfiltered podcast, Zayn was trying to hype up the new show and said, I've been holding back a lot on this podcast, but I'm going to be more open on the new one. In response to that, one user said, this again, the entire concept of your podcast is being unfiltered. Then y'all made a Patreon so you could actually be unfiltered. But now you need another podcast to really be unfiltered? You'd think you'd feel more open to talking about personal things when you're speaking to your literal best friend slash fiance rather than two girlfriends who are simply in the same industry. I don't know, I love them on the podcast, but if you're not comfortable opening up about your personal life on camera, firmly set that boundary rather than teasing your viewers with the potential of finding out about your dating life. You don't owe strangers on the internet any personal details. Not to mention, apparently Zane and Heath's co-host Matt had no clue that this podcast would even be coming out and was completely caught off guard by the announcement. Is there anything that you would like to plug for the people? Well, I think something will be announced by then. Oh! We haven't talked about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, you and me have talked about this? We haven't. No, we haven't. I, haven't I actually you. just found out about it the other day through somebody. Are you kidding? Yeah, and I have not known about it at Are all. Are you kidding? I'm so happy about it, but like, <laughs> I just, nobody told me about oh, it. Oh my god! Yeah. One user on Reddit said, Mariah designed the set and is editing the new show. That's Heath's fiance and the other co-host on Zayn and Heath Unfiltered, by the way. They go on to say, maybe I'm just a softie, but that would hurt my feelings to be the one on the crew who isn't being filled in on the new venture. Hard to imagine it just never came up. I don't think it's crazy to not have Matt on the show, just weird to not even mention it and let him hear it from somebody else. Okay, now back to Trisha. She spoke out about her opinions on this new podcast collab saying it's just such a random mixture of people and she doesn't get it at all. I like Remy and, and I don't know them at all, but I like Remy and Alicia so much. Me too. And like Zayn and Heath threw me the wrong way so much. So it's just such a weird combination. <laughs> such a weird combo. And in typical money hungry Trisha fashion, she says she doesn't know why they're doing it at all because it's unlikely that they'll each be making too much money from it since they're all influencers with big followings. Like they're all like splitting it and then it's like, do you make any money? Or are they doing it just for fun? Like, I don't know. AKA neither of them can exploit the other to do the podcast with them without taking a huge cut. She calls out Zayn and Heath for not being unfiltered on this podcast, citing the example of a game of truth or drink where Remy asked who their least favorite podcast guest was and Zayn and Heath dodged the question. Oscar agrees and talks about a comment Zayn had left on TikTok saying, really nervous for what I reveal in this episode. But if you're gonna say that, like, oh, I'm so scared of what I reveal, and then I'll I don't give think he revealed name. anything. <laughs> and that's fine, but Zayn and Heath, like, they're the problematic ones, but they never reveal, they never say names. Wait, am I missing something? When did Zayn and Heath become problematic aside from having been friends with David Dobrik? I feel like Trisha just has this imaginary beef with the entire vlog squad since her breakup with Jason Nash, but I don't know, she's acting a little bit unfairly towards them. Maybe they're problematic for being like super anti-vax at some point for no reason, which actually Trisha brings up in this podcast as well. <laughs> they're not going to their friends' weddings because they won't get vaccinated <laughs> or wear a mask or something. I'm not sure. Something weird happened there. I try to follow that drama, but I need Matt King on. Matt King will spill the tea. He's on with everybody. He's on with Jeff. He's like, uh, we need him on. 12 podcasts, yeah. So many, so many podcasts. And Alicia was on his and he was, I think, kind of hurt that they didn't do a podcast with him. She then goes on to talk about how irrelevant Zayn and Heath have become outside of their core following. 
In more Vlog Squad news, they also talk about how Corinna Kopp and Stella Berry allegedly had a threesome with Drake. Also, Stella got gonorrhea after. <laughs> okay, moving on to the title of the podcast, which is Josh Peck's career is over. We kind of have a little Josh Peck history. We have a little Josh Peck <laughs> relation. All comes back down to the Vlog Squad and David, of course. Anything kind of like a little sus always comes back to me and David and time together. <laughs> Trisha says that she's always been pro Josh Peck, but she's lately gotten kind of the ick, especially when that one podcast of him came out saying Jeanette McCurdy owes him. She also doesn't like how he always gives Drake so much hate when Drake always speaks so highly of him. And then they get into the new docuseries, Quiet on Set. This docuseries included claims about toxic workplaces for child actors and crews on Nickelodeon series that were created and run by prolific TV producer Dan Schneider. In the series, Drake Bell spoke about his story of child abuse when he was 15 years old at the hands of his former dialogue coach, Brian Peck who is not related to Josh Peck. In 2003, Brian Peck was actually accused of molesting a child and he was convicted of a lewd act against a child and oral copulation of a person under 16. And he only spent 16 months in prison. Crazy. Josh Peck did not address any of these allegations against Dan Schneider once the docuseries aired. And then an old clip of Josh Peck emerges on the internet of him actually defending him. So in response to tremendous fan backlash, Drake posted this on TikTok saying, This is really, uh, you know, processing this and going through this is a really emotional time and a lot of it's very, very difficult. Uh, so not everything is put out to the public, um, but I just want you guys to know that he has reached out to me and it's it's been very uh, sensitive, but he has reached out to, uh, to talk with me and... and help me work through this. Finally, last week, Josh posted this on his Instagram saying, I finished the Quiet On Set documentary and took a few days to process it. I reached out to Drake privately, but I want to give my support for the survivors who were brave enough to share their stories of emotional and physical abuse on Nickelodeon sets with the world. Children should be protected. Reliving this publicly is incredibly difficult, but I hope we can bring healing for the victims and their families, as well as necessary change to our industry. On this topic, Trisha says that she's not surprised Josh responded this way because at the end of the day, he was friends with David Dobrik and defended him. And says In that it's just too little to Josh's too late. apology, Trisha says that she's not sure if it's a sincere one. Trisha also brings up speculations of people having been paid hush money to not speak out about Dan Schneider. Because I think Jeanette McCurdy he said in a separate interview that she was offered, I think in her book, in her that book, she was yeah. offered $300,000. Uh, to never speak about. Yeah. And they're experience. like, well, it's free money. And so everyone's like, oh, Josh took the hush money or whatever. Yeah. She does give Josh the benefit of the doubt, saying he may have not known when this stuff was happening at the time. Trisha also touches on how Josh has always been anti-Drake. But Drake has always been really like, we're brothers, like this and that. So it's like very weird relationship yeah. where Drake, where Josh wants nothing to do with Drake, but then Drake, only when it's convenient. Here's my other thing, right? Is like, he did kind of exploit the whole Drake and Josh thing when he was friends with David because yeah. David was obsessed with Drake and Josh. My theory is that Josh has always resented Drake for kind of being the cool, good looking one when they were growing up, when he had to be the quote, funny fat kid. No hate to Josh. I do actually think he is a good guy inside. I'm just trying to analyze where this disdain may come from. Oscar brings up that Josh may have tried to distance himself from Drake because of all the problematic things that have come out about Drake prior to all of this quiet on set stuff. He just didn't want to like be associated with someone who had like these, you know, allegations. That, That's like, true. Guilty, you know? And just because so, you grew up with someone doesn't mean you have to be like yeah, them forever. Yeah. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I won't get into detail here, but it involves sexual relations with a minor and then fleeing to Mexico. So Trisha says for now, Josh is on the no guest list of Just Trish, but Oscar chimes in saying they're always rooting for a redemption. They also talk about the Ned's Disclassified podcast people reacting very inappropriately to the news of this Dan Schneider stuff. Watch this clip from TikTok Live first. Daniel, we told you never to speak about that. Get back in your hole, Daniel, and give me your holes. Sorry, we shouldn't joke about this. We really shouldn't. This is awful. Why are we doing this? Because this is about us. Listen, our set was not like that. Uh, and no, it's fucking awful. The, the, the Drake Bell shit, like, that's crazy to hear. I, I, that is fucking. And that never came out, which is really wild. Oh, so y'all were in on it. Oh, God. Damn. I'm not talking about this anymore. No, no. Not talking about this anymore. No, no. Guys, we can't joke like this. Jesus. Guys, we're, 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 sometimes humor helps us move through things, you know? 100%. 
And this is what Trisha and Oscar had to say about it. Obviously, you don't have that experience, but again, don't invalidate it. And to make jokes like that, like so crass. Oh, is yeah. Ridiculous. And you can't have come, yeah, you can't forget that. You can't apologize. Like, okay, this is like a serious thing. There's like a serious, like, Josh is going to be looked at poor time. Maybe he pre recorded it and it's like poor timing or whatever, yeah. whatever. But this is very like Live direct. In the moments, yeah. yeah. And that's a classified as wild. Y'all are nasty with your stories. I don't even like talking about I think one time we were trying to talk about one of the stories they talked about. I was like, this is gross. Like, why are they talking yeah, about this? Yeah, hooking up with each other. Yeah, who gave them a podcast? Nobody cares about Nancy Classified. That's and that is pretty much it for all that Trisha Paytas had to say about the recent vlog squad stories happening right now. Let me know if you would like a full deep dive on all this Dan Schneider stuff or maybe a full summary of Quiet on set. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more weekly videos. And for now, bye-bye.